welcome to San Francisco, the local time is 814. Please remain seated with your seatbelts on. Our pilots will turn off the seatbelts. Good morning and welcome to Orange County. Today I start my vacation by heading to San Francisco on Alaska Airlines 3352. Join me on today's trip report and flight experience. This will be a simple trip report as I did not pay for any upgrades as the flight will be less than an hour and I'm on board an Embraer D-175. I also have no bags to check since I'm catching a connecting flight on United and didn't want to clear security. With boarding pass in hand and having TSA pre-check, Let's head to the gate. There's my flight, Alaska 3352 to SFO, departing on time at 6.50 this morning out of gate 1B. Gate 1 is at the north part of the terminal and where all the regional planes board. SNA isn't a very big airport, so it shouldn't take more than five minutes to walk over there from where I started. Down there is where the flight will board. And to get there, you'll either take the stairs on the right or the elevator. I'll take the elevator. Once downstairs, there are some chairs to sit and wait, and some restrooms and water fountains down at the end. There's our plane that'll serve as AS-3352. It's about a six-year-old Embraer ERJ-175, registered November 196 Sierra Yankee. It was delivered to Alaska Airlines in January 2018 and is operated by SkyWest. There are 12 first class seats and 64 economy seats on board. For other items to law enforcement or airport personnel. By 3352 with service to San Francisco, we're about seven minutes away from our boarding process. We're going to start gathering your things together. Again, we're still a couple of volunteers to check those roller bags so we can expedite the boarding process. Please remember you're allowed only two items, two items only to the boarding order as, as per FAA rules. The nice thing about the Embraer E-175 is that for a regional jet, your standard size carry-on luggage will fit in the overhead bin. Okay. Two. For the aircraft and all the right board. Can you get a with any families under the age of two on the board? So after the pre-boarding, priority boarding includes first class and MVP Gold 100K, then Group A, the mileage plan million milers, MVP Gold 75K, MVP Gold members, Group B is the MVP members, and guests in premium economy. Group C is the I'm in boarding Group C, which is after all the elites and premium economy. And I'm eligible for Group C because my ticket was purchased with my Alaska Airlines Visa credit card. So for today's flight, we're boarding outside using a ramp, very similar to boarding at Long Beach Airport. However, here at Orange County, there's no boarding at the back of the plane. Welcome on board Alaska Airlines 3352 to SFO. I'll be seated in 18A, a window seat. The economy seats on the Embraer E-175 are quite spacious, although in my opinion a bit on the firm side. The seats have a generous 18.2 inches of width per Alaska Airlines, which is almost 2 inches more than on any of their Boeing or recently retired Airbus A321s. The seats have 30 to 31 inches of pitch, and remember there's no power in the economy seats. You can see the legroom there is pretty decent. Cross my legs. Unlike on mainline Alaska planes, this seat does not have a holder for your device. And here's the meal tray. Looks like a bit of overkill today as we're only being served a beverage. And these planes do have air vents and a reading light above your seat. 
In between the button to turn the light on and off is the flight attendant call button. <coughs> and once the condensation clears, I should have a pretty nice view for this morning's flight. ahead of our scheduled 6.50 a.m. departure. However, due to the noise ordinance here at SNA, planes won't actually be allowed to take off until 7 a.m. And we won't be the first plane to be taking off. off if you like seeing these trip reports please leave a like and a comment below and remember to subscribe to see more thanks again we're about to take off now remember that SNA has a short 5,000 foot runway so we'll be blasting off very fast Check it out.
there's no in-flight entertainment, and you can stream onto your device using either the Alaska app or opening the browser and entering alaskawifi.com. The site has a lot of streaming content, but no live television. You can also find some information about the destination and a moving map. Because it's such a short flight, no snacks will be served or snack boxes sold. Non-alcoholic beverages and hot drinks will be served and free. So literally the day before this flight, Alaska came out with a big announcement for coffee lovers. As of December 1, 2023, Alaska's ending its partnership with Seattle Starbucks and Portland Stumptown will be the airline's new coffee supplier. Stumptown is creating a blend that's good for our taste buds which react differently at altitude. But for now, Starbucks is the coffee of choice. I don't normally drink black coffee since I wasn't offered sugar and cream. I didn't ask. So I found this to be surprisingly smooth and not bitter. context on the financial side. The ticket was originally $88.60, however I had a credit from a previously cancelled trip so it cost me nothing. I was supposed to take a later flight but was offered a $25 credit to take an earlier flight which ended up being this one. And because of that, I was able to take an earlier flight to my final destination today, New Orleans. Anyway, with all that, let's wrap up today's trip report and flight experience on Alaska 3352. as not only was I given a credit, but given the opportunity to take an earlier flight and to get to New Orleans sooner, that meant no red eye and I was able to get a good night's rest. I found the boarding to be very orderly as there weren't very many pre-boarders, but certainly a lot of mileage plan members with status. The flight was basically full, but with the wider seats and the fact that our carry-ons could fit inside, it felt quite spacious and comfortable. The service was okay, although they ran out of coffee and had to brew more once they got to me, and I wasn't proactively offered cream and sugar. I suppose I should have asked, but sometimes it's good to drink black coffee. I literally only had five minutes before they collected all the service items for disposal. Thankfully I finished the coffee. Overall it was a pleasant experience from the ground experience at Orange County all the way to SFO. We even landed at SFO about five minutes ahead of schedule. And with no bags to claim, I could head straight for the Maple Leaf Lounge. Remember that I'm Star Alliance Gold with Asiana, and I'll be using that lounge before my flight on United. So all that to say, enjoy our landing into San Francisco International Airport.
for joining me on Alaska Airlines 3352 from Orange County to San Francisco. Please leave a like and a comment below. Subscribe to see more. See you next time.